Hi everyone and welcome to Life Creates Art. I am Shelly and I am so excited to be bringing this to you. Have you ever wanted to paint like Picasso? Well, I have, I know I have, but guess what? Nobody else paints like Picasso, but Picasso. Oh my goodness, but here at Life Creates Art, we want to see things differently. I've always wanted to paint like Picasso, but I have realized that I am an individual and that's what I want to help you see. That's what this channel is all about, helping you see that you are an individual. You are not Picasso, I am not Picasso, but I have always tried to see things a little bit differently and bring that into my art. And so I'm gonna show you a little exercise that I do in my art to help me sort of skew things and see things a little bit differently. It's not something I do all the time, but it is an exercise I do to help me to sort of uh, do portraits and skew things just to give me a little bit of a practice. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna get started. So we're gonna use two models today. First one is gonna be Frida Kahlo. And the next one, I just Googled woman in a chair and I found this absolutely delicious photo of this woman sitting in a chair. I love the pose. And we are going to use scissors and we're gonna be cutting up these pictures and I'm really excited about it. And in we're gonna be drawing these once we get them all cut up and then we're gonna put it on a canvas. So we're gonna follow through, we're gonna paint it, but not on this video, that's gonna be in the next video. So really excited about this to help you see things differently. Our vision is to see and look at something that is a face and we see two eyes, we see a nose, we see ears here, we see a mouth here. But I wanna help you to look at something, to look at a flower and see it sort of deconstructed. And the way that Picasso used to see things, you know how he put a nose up here and he put an ear down here. <laughs> I want you to sort of have that vision to be able to create and be free to create the way that you want to. And a lot of that has to do with your practice in sketching too, which I'm also gonna be talking a lot about sketching in future videos. Let's get started on this right away. Okay, all right everyone, so here we are. We're gonna start with Frida. Now again, we're thinking like Picasso, we're thinking like Salvador Dali, and thinking outside the box here. We're gonna start by cutting Frida. I got these images just off of Google. We're gonna start by cutting Frida. I'm going to cut her ear. her earring. I'm gonna set that aside. And then I think I'm gonna take this part of her head and her flower. And it's all up to you, the way that you cut your images. It really is up to you. And that's the creative part is you cut them the way that you imagine, however you want. It's not really like a puzzle, but just use your imagination. I was never good at puzzles when I was a kid. So this is actually good for me because I get to construct a puzzle in a, uh, the wrong way. <laughs> and I know that you all are very unique minds, beautiful people, and you have creativity within you. And this is just a way to foster that creativity and bring it out. See, 
see I'm cutting her eye and part of, I'm going to show you on the white paper if you can't see it. So part of her eye and part of her head and her cheek. I'm going to put these on the white paper actually. I'm so sorry. Her ear. This way to foster your creativity is you continue to do new things and experiment with new things, trying new ways of doing things. I didn't see this anywhere. I didn't learn this anywhere. I just thought of doing it and decided to try it. It's just an exercise I use for myself. So Frida's coming together and her neck. And not everything is going to necessarily look exactly the same. face and I've got her mouth over here I'm gonna put her nose here and her ear up there now this does not mean that so this is kind of how I'm gonna do it so we kind of construct it like this and then you fill in the blanks. So her neck is going to be over here. And sometimes you lose track of what you've got here. <laughs> but that's OK. That's OK. That's part of it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to glue this down and we're going to start on our next piece. All right, everyone. So now we're going to be cutting up this beautiful young lady here, but I am excited about this one because there's a lot of different things that we can do here. I'm going to take her leg. I just love this pose. We're going to put it up there. Oh. And I'm going to take her arm next. And again, this is all a part of just having a lot of fun. Do you know that? It is medically proven that doing art and just the action of doing art calms you and releases different types of hormones in your system that calms your body down helps you to bring more peace into your life. And they say that just doing 10 minutes a day of some type of art will actually be healthy, almost like exercising, just 10 minutes a day, it's as healthy for you as exercising and eating right. So 
so art is good for you. Now, don't judge your art too harshly. I've always said that. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm gonna cut off her leg. I'm gonna put her head in her lap like that. I'm gonna do something fun like that. And do something like that. All right. Woo. This is gonna be very cool. Now remember, you're experimenting, you're having fun. Do not judge yourself, just enjoy and have a good time. All right, I'm gonna glue that down and then we're gonna get these drawn onto canvas. And then we're gonna decide which one we're gonna paint. All right. Okay, so we are back. Now, for the sake of time, normally I would sketch this out with a pencil or some charcoal or something like that, but today I'm going to be just using my black paint and sketching it out with black paint. So there's not a whole lot of room for what I call quote unquote error, but really in art, I don't consider a whole lot of error because again this is fun and art I don't think that there's a lot of mistakes I think that in mistakes you just work through them just like in life you make a mistake in art and you just keep going just like in life you make a mistake and you pick yourself up and you brush yourself off and you keep going and you keep working your way through it. Just like in art, there's a lot of life lessons in art that you will find. If you keep persevering through your art, then just like life, you keep persevering. You usually find out something better on the other side. So let's keep going. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sketching both the Frida and this young girl down here. And then I'm going to ask you who's watching to vote which one of these we're going to be painting in the next video. We're going to be start painting either the Frida or the young girl. So this is going to be number one and this is going to be number two. So you get to vote after we sketch this out. So now I'm going to start uh, sketching out Frida. And again, I'm just freehanding this and having a lot of fun. I'm going to uh, sort of do a, mm, I'm gonna do her mouth down here. Again, I don't really worry about uh, what things look like in the natural world. But I do just continue to sketch and I'm going to put her other eye up here. You see up here is her other eye and it's looking off to the side as well. I'm going to make this eye a little bit bigger. Even though it's not up here, I'm going to have some fun with it and do her eye a little larger because I can. And then I'm going to start putting the edge of her face down here. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put her ear over here. And this is where I'm going to hang a little earring. Now 
Now normally I would have a little more detail because I would use a pencil, but we don't have that because I, like I said, I wanted to be a little more, wanted to have a better visual for you. And I'm gonna continue another eyebrow down here just because I can. All right, now I'm going to have the other part of her face here. And that'll be part of her face down here. All right, now she has this beautiful hair. going to make a big deal of her flowers. So this is going to be, of course, Frida's hair and her flowers. Now remember, we're seeing things differently. We are venturing to paint things differently than we normally do. This ear is going to be square instead of round. And this is going to be nice rosy cheek. And of course, I'm going to have her mustache there, but And of course, Frida is just a beautiful woman. This does not look attractive right now, but once we paint it, we add color and, and it will be quite beautiful because I love drawing Frida and she's one of my very favorite artists and I love her painting through her pain. There'll be more flowers up here. I'll just fill this in with all these flowers. Okay, so this is an exercise, like I said, that I do to just sketch things out and see things a little bit differently. Now I'm going to do the woman seated in the chair. So this was my Frida, this was number one, and now we're gonna do number two the woman seated in the chair. So I'm gonna start with her arm up here and her hand is kind of folded over. I would love to give her some nice big red lips there. Shoe 
here. <clears throat> so it's really good just to let your mind go free here and allow yourself to see things differently. I'm going to bring this down a little further. I really wanted that second shoe. I wanted the second shoe to hang down a little further. But I'm kind of running out of canvas. But that's all right. I'll bring another shoe here. I'm going to give her short pants. All right, so I'm sketching with black paint, which is fine. You can do it too. And it's better to sketch with a pencil though. <laughs> All right, now her back is gonna come around here. And she's gonna come around here. I'm gonna give her her little rear end right here. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring this chair up a little bit. Give it some, fill in this empty space up here. Bring the chair up. And then bring it down like this, like this, and like that. She's sitting in that chair. All right, this is pretty awesome. Well, this is painting number two. hope that you guys vote for this one because this one's my favorite. <laughs> but it's really up to you which one you guys would like to vote for. I really want to hear from you. This is Frida, number one. And this is Woman in Chair, number two. Please cast your vote. I want to hear from you in the comments below. We are doing this series, Thinking Differently and just expand your mind and try this yourself. And I'm really excited about this. You are unique and you are very special and never ever forget it. And so this is Shelly with Life Creates Art and I would look forward to seeing you next week. All right, don't forget to vote. Number one and number two. All right, bye-bye, love you.